Hello, hello, hello everyone. Dr. Stephanie Shuttler here. I'm a scientist, I'm a wildlife biologist. I am gonna clear up some misconceptions about coyotes. One of the big reasons why coyotes are talked about a lot is because traditionally coyotes are a Western species. So here in North America and the United States, coyotes are found in the Western portion of the continent. But what's happened over the past few decades is that coyotes have expanded their range. So now we have coyotes all over the United States. One of the misconceptions about coyotes here in the East is that there are koi wolves and koi dogs too. This is a misconception. Yes, you can have hybrid animals between coyotes, wolves, and dogs, but they are not really hybridizing in the wild. But the wolves will have the same thing too. So they're mostly those species. So we're not really having those like half coyote, half wolf hybrids. That is a myth. They are going to choose to breed with coyote, which is their species, but if there's no other coyotes around, they will essentially breed with the next best thing, which is a dog. Even if we do have a couple hybrids, it's not like we have this whole like new subspecies of koi wolves. That is not a thing. So coyotes have really adapted to the most populous cities here in the United States. Coyotes live in Chicago, in LA, in New York City. I just think this is amazing. I think it is so cool that these animals have been able to adapt to such urban environments. And by far, most of the time, they don't get noticed. A lot of people blame coyotes for killing deer and for deer declines. And to my knowledge, only in the eastern United States. And this would be white-tailed deer. Coyotes don't really predate adult deer. That's pretty difficult for them. And like I said, I scoured the literature for my study that I did, and I could not really find any evidence. There's just a couple of anecdotal stories of a coyotes killing an adult deer. I think it was like maybe only one or two papers. But they do kill fawns. If you remember from my research paper, we looked at deer vigilance, which is an indicator of fear. So the more vigilant deer are, that means the more they suspect predators in their environment. So if coyotes are a predator to adult deer, they're going to be more vigilant in areas with higher coyote abundance. And in our research, we did not find that. So that suggests that adult deer are not fearful of coyotes, at least in terms of reflected through vigilance. Perhaps there's other ways, but vigilance is a really great score of risk predation. There are these stories of coyotes following people. So they are bolder, they are more curious. It seems to happen with people who have dogs more. I'm not sure if they're smaller dogs or not, but it would make sense to me more that they're smaller dogs or the coyotes are attracted more to the smaller dogs because that invokes more of their prey or predator response. So in those situations, what I recommend you do, it's very similar to the mountain lion. You wanna make yourself look big, you're gonna to wanna to be loud. So things you can do are clap your hands, you can shake your keys, yell at the coyote, tell it to go away. You can throw rocks in its direction, throw sticks in its direction. You will be able to tell rabid animals very much from non-rabid ones. So, so the curious coyotes, they might approach you, but they're not gonna be vicious or aggressive. You don't need to be scared to go walking in the woods. Coyote attacks are very, very, very rare. It's amazing because so many people are scared of wild animals, but yet the animal that causes the most danger to us, at least here in the United States, is the domestic dog. And hunting is doing nothing to decrease these populations. They are just going like expen exponential. So it just doesn't work. And like I said, from that other exclusion experiment, it's really hard to keep coyotes out. So once you start killing them, they just start coming back. And even the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission in one of their email newsletters, they had a report actually analyzing all of the different 
studies on coyotes and they came to the conclusion as well that killing is not an effective means to control them and that's an agency that they make their money from hunting so they're definitely not anti-hunting at all if you like this video want to learn more about wildlife more about conservation subscribe to this youtube channel also, you can check out my podcast, the Fancy Scientist podcast. I have lots of episodes on wildlife, also tips for wildlife biologists and scientists. I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.